all, welcome to my channel, I'm Matt, this is Max Mods, and today guys, we are going to be doing a U96 build. So we are going to be doing stage or issue 9 of build the U96, and today we are going to be starting on our first torpedo tubes, so that should be fun. There's a heck of a lot of detail though that's going on to these uh, torpedo tubes. There's loads of bits on sprues which I have taken off by one sprue and also lots of detail lots of glue lots of oh brilliant absolutely brilliant but yeah don't know how this is going to go um to be perfectly honest with you we've got some very small pieces but i do have my magnifiers just in case we need them but uh happy days ahead that's all i can say because this looks really really interesting anyway let's get on with today's build so with all that said let's get modeling Okay guys, issue 9, these are the first torpedo tubes, so if I just bring these across, um, we're going to be making two of these today, now these are more or less identical, I would say, are they? Um, maybe not, I thought they were identical, okay so let's uh, just double check, um, so we've got torpedo tube one and torpedo tube three. Okay, now let's work out which these are which. So I believe that one there is torpedo tube three. And I believe this one is torpedo tube one. So we'll keep them like that throughout the build so we don't get confused. I thought they were identical, but um, no okay so i have taken some parts off the sprues um uh, just to make this a little bit easier uh, so the first thing we need to do it says take torpedo tube uh, one uh with the one circle so there should be oh yeah there is there's actually a number one there okay so that helps okay and it says separate two Q parts from the frame 9A, apply some glue to the inside of the first part Q and fit it over the recess on the torpedo tube as indicated below. Fantastic. Okay. So, this is the detail. And this is going to be going on just around this edge here. We have some notches on here as well. That corresponds to some notches on here. So, can't really get this wrong. So, let's get some glue. Now, I'm going to use an old tray today. Um, the reason I like, prefer, sometimes prefer using these is I can pour a little bit of glue out into them. Well, that's a lot of glue out into them. Um, but with it being a little trough, it's just sometimes easier to get the glue on. Okay, so let's get started on this. So with it round this way, we want the sort of, um, there's like a jagged detail, dot detail. It needs to be facing this side of the tube. So I want to use my pin all the way around this <laughs> now I do like using this method a bit of a, a cocktail stick because it can be a little, it can be better. Um, the only thing is that after a while, you do have to take off some of the, uh, the glue builds up, and you have to take it off. But that is easy enough because all you have to do is burn it. You just put a flame to it, and it'll literally melt off. Okay, so that 
is into place on that one now we want to do the same with torpedo tube number three and this does have a three on it as well Run that blue down there, just along the edge. Just making sure that these bits are going to adhere to it. And then we'll get our detail, line up the knot. That's fitted fantastic. We'll do the other side. Line up that. Okay, so that is that bit done on number three. Right, so next bit we need is these two ring parts here. Okay, now these you've got like two notches on them well one notch now that needs to be on the outside of the torpedo tube now we're going to be putting these on if i have this in kind of this orientation we've got a couple of notches on here anyway and this is just going to line up with them and we need to put them on again with some more glue so I'm just going to run the glue along the edge of the tube. Now, I like that we're doing two at a time. Okay. Okay, so that's one on there, and then if we take number three, line that up, it does tell us where we need to put the next bit. Okay, so according to the um, the instructions, they are correct. Okay, so with them in place, next what we need to do is we need to... Now these came off this uh, sprue here, and we needed to take off the two that were marked with the R, and we have an R indicating that. So here they are that I've took, taken off. Okay. And what we need to do is we also need to take off details J, which are these little ends. Now they are going to go onto the end of the tubes. I'm just seeing how they have put these okay so these again they do need to be glued
kind of a notch that lines up and then push it into place and do the same with the other incredible detail okay so they are both done so next is we need to put these on and it's asking us to do first of all on torpedo tube number three and if i just try and find how they've orientated this so this is going to go on as a peg just there this is going to go on marking with a peg that we've now got on there and there is some kind of a peg there but it's uh, very hard not hard but quite big so I'm just going to see if um, the one on this side fits better yeah that's going to fit better right so we'll glue this on just put a bit of glue on the peg Okay, so that one is on there. We'll get the next one. So I kind of know what I'm looking for, which is the peg there. And let's just test fit this. See if this is nice and easy. Go on here. Yeah, it's going to take a push, but it'll go in. Again, though gonna glue it because it would fall out again okay and then that is in place right so with them in place so that's number three and one so I'm making sure I keep an eye which is which now the next bit is some quite small detail which is these two pieces here now these are going to go on we've got some holes just oh hang on a second sorry about this accident took my stream deck these are just going to go into the holes that are just on here and they're going to go on i've got like a little bent tube at the end there these are going to go on just onto there like that Again, I'm going to glue these in, po in position. <laughs> right, if we need to use the tweezers just to hold this while I try and get the end into the hole make sure it's straight which it is so that's that one done so similar side with the other Besides, just a little bit, have a look. 
problematic growing. So I'm just going to open up that hole just a bit tad more. There we go. And I'm just going to put some glue down. There we go. Put this part on. Again. There's always one in there. There's always a problematic one. That doesn't want to play a ball. But if you keep at it, you'll get there just like that. Okay. So they are now on. Right, so with them detailed now on, we move on to the next step. So I can just put them to one side, and I'm glad at that, because that can just allow the glue time to dry. We need this part here, sorry, wrong one. This part here, and this has got notches on it on that side so we know it's that piece and we need this piece here now with this upside down we need to put this onto the center of here now there is a direction this goes if you notice here we've got a pin and we've got a pin down there now we've got a, after this pin here is quite short then after this pin here is quite long so that short bit is going to be going towards this part of this detail. Again though, we do need to glue them in. Okay, they are in place. Right, so the next piece we need is this piece here. And this is just like a cover, and it's just going to go over there like that. But again, this piece does need gluing in. okay brilliant okay so now we've done that we need to get torpedo tube one because we're going to attach this onto torpedo tube one now this is just going to go on we've got two pegs there they're going to line up with the two holes we've got on here and go in like that Again, we have to glue this. That's one in there. One in there. Okay. And then similar, we're going to be gluing the torpedo tube onto these bits here. So it's going to go on like so I believe yeah it's got to go on that it's got to go on that way right okay so again bit of glue just like that fantastic okay really motoring along here now the next bit is we've got some pipes here now these are going to go to the rear of here the rear of here but these are going to come out of the two holes just there so this one's going to go onto there like so but again this does need to be glued
okay looking like that and then this last one um kind of a strange one but i can see how it's going to be orientated I'm going to use my tweezers for this one. A bit of a small tube with a very, yeah, a bit fiddly. Okay, so they are in place. Looking excellent. Okay, so now we've done that, we can encase the tubes in there. So we've got this bit here. Now this is going to be going around. We've got two notches just in the top there. That's obviously going to go over the tubes there. So we know which way around this is going in. Yeah. okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a few moments let that all dry and then we'll come back because we've got some very interesting bits coming up so back in a sec a few moments later okay so this glue has now had time to dry okay so we've got some more details to put on so we have this part here now this is actually labelled N and then we have this one here and this is labelled M. Now the difference between the N and the M is M has a notch on it there. Okay. Now so I don't get these mixed up, these are going to be going over the tubes just on these holes here. So I've um cleared some of the glue splodge uh, they build up off my um, glue pin this is just going to go on to there like so and then the end is going to go down at the bottom Okay, just like so. Okay, so next we need the de uh, labeling it as detail L, which is this piece here. Now this has got a notch in it, and that's going to go onto the notch that I just saw on about on M. This has been relatively okay so far, I've got to admit, no problems to report so far, I'm happy with it, okay, I'm just going to put a tad of glue just on the top there, just to give it a bit of extra support. Okay, so with that in place, the next bit we need is this bit here. This is labelled D, so we need to turn this upside down, and this is going to be going in just into the two holes just down into there. Put that in. Okay, that fell into place beautifully. 
Okay, now, next it would ask us to remove parts H, I and K from the sprue, which I've already done. Now, H is this like little handle here. That's going to be going on to the two holes just at the top of the torpedo tubes there. I'm going to use my tweezers for this. It gives me a bit of a better grip. Okay, that's in place. Wow. Okay, so. Then we have the next two details, which is I and K. So, I, just double checking against the instructions is this detail here and that is going to be going down just down into the notch that's so just down it in there okay I'm going to use tweezers for this one as well because it is buried a bit deep down. So these will hopefully get that in, which it's in. And then this last final piece is just going to be going on to the notch just here. Just like that. Tremendous. Okay. Right, so this is the one where they said do not take them off the sprue until you're ready to put them on. So, it says the first pipe it wants is pipes three. So this is labelled, we've got one, two, three, four and five on here. So the first one it wants is three. So I'll cut them off the sprue. On that and sometimes it's really hard to see where you're cutting. Okay, and this is just gonna fit on to on here like that. Again we need to glue this in place. This reminds me of the uh, X-wing pipes that we used to have to uh, put on, and the pipes on the uh, Falcon as well. They should just push into place with a bit of help of some glue. Okay, so that's number three. Next, it wants number five off the sprue. Okay, where's number five going? So with it around like here. Right, so number five is going to go on just like a little notch for it to go in just there. I'm just seeing if this. This one's kind of sticking up a bit, ish. Does it need to be sticking up? That's the uh, that's the question. 
So I'm just double checking before I glue this about its position because you want it to be right. Okay, so I'm wrong, it wants to be around like that. Okay. Right, so I think I've got this. Bit of glue. This is a really fiddly pipe. It's going to run along there. Just like that. Okay. Right, so next we need is pipe number one. Now, I'm just seeing where wall number one is going to go to how we cut it off the sprue. It's not that clear where I can see kind of where it's going to go in. Okay. So this has got a little notch there and this pipe has got a little notch on it that's going to sit in it and yeah okay so I am correct on that pipe that I just did previously as well This is, uh, I don't know, I'm really enjoying this. Okay, that's pipe number one in place. Okay, so the next one it wants is pipe number four. Four. Brilliant. Now, pipe number four, we're going to start concentrating on this side. That wants to be going in. Uh, right, so there's a notch just down in there. So we just need to put that pipe in. Right, I think this one is going to line up with a hole just down there. Yeah, there's a hole just down in that in the centre there. That's going to line up in two places. That actually makes life a little bit easier. To get this completely lined up. Okay, so that is lined up. Brilliant stuff. Right, so next bit we need to do is pipe number two. So this is the last pipe on here. So I'll 
cut this off. Okay. Again, this has got going to go into the hole next to it, just on there. So if we bob that in there, we should be able to follow it back to the point it wants to go in. Which is the notch just on there. Up it is. Okay, so that is more or less in place. I'm just going to hold my finger there for a second. Just so that glue just dries a bit. But that is what them pipes should look like after. Okay, so we need this piece next. Now this is going to be going on to the notch just at the top there. This should be fun. Nice tiny piece. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the notch. It's kind of like a handle, but we want the handle to be facing all these pipes here. Just like that. Wow. And that is all there is to do in this issue or stage. That is some incredible, incredible detail for the torpedo tubes. Amazing. They look beautiful. Um, we do have this sprue left over with these bits on it that we need to keep safe. Uh, for further down the line, but uh, I'm really impressed with that and that was relatively easy Everything lined up the way it should do um, I think there was only one thing I maybe had to sort of open up a little bit um, But that was it everything else just went smoothly into place. So I'm really happy with how that's come out So guys that is issue 9 complete well guys, that's it for stage or issue 9 of the uh, U96. Thank you for watching. That was incredibly therapeutic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, when I did look at it, I thought, goodness me, there's a lot piled into this uh, this issue. Um, but when coming to it, it was nice and easy. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take to edit because I've really got nothing to edit out of it. I try and keep everything in as much as I can. Um, apart from I had to stop obviously for glue to dry but that's just a normal uh, at the moment I just want things to dry and then it's a lot easier to carry on but really nice detail really 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 nice detail so I'm really impressed so on to the next one anyway guys if you like this video please could you give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos but as for always stay safe and bye for now